Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we're watching Collateral. What do you know about this movie? Uh, Michael Mann. Michael Mann, Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx. Yes. That's all I got. Yeah, so we have watched Heat, which is where this was mostly recommended. Yeah. And we watched Manhunter. Right. Uh, which we loved after we watched Silence of the Lambs. So far I'm loving every Michael Mann movie, so I'm very excited for this film. Yeah, and I love Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx. Yeah. So I think this is gonna be excellent. Yeah, I'm excited. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. So we got like an airport, I guess? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Definitely an interesting look for Tom Cruise. Yeah, he looks old. Yeah, <laughs> somehow he looks super old in this. Oh, Jason Statham. You all right? Enjoy LA. Oh, a swap, huh? Okay, so... Taxi port? He's a clean freak. Checking everything, make sure it all works. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> yeah. Very, like, close shots. Everything is very... Tight. Tight. Yeah. So he's, like, very meticulous. Yeah. Maybe even like a little OCD or something. Maybe. And you know what? You're perfectly capable of taking care of your own shit. Was <laughs> Think of paradise. Man, the stories taxi drivers must hear. I feel like I said the same thing when we watched Taxi Driver. Taxi driver. <laughs> Wonder if they'll start to make movies about Uber drivers. Right. A little bit more updated compared to Taxi Driver. Yeah. That gold Lexus on the cell phone. Someone he knows or just someone he's interested in? Oh, I didn't realize she was calling for a taxi. Imagine having to know your way around everywhere too. I'd be lost <laughs> by my cell phone. Takes a bovida to Slos into La Brea. Is that Jada Pinkett Smith? Oh, maybe. I'll take the 105 east to the 110, that's fast. The 110 turns into a parking lot around USC. Surface rolls is what you want, that's what we'll do. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be wrong, but if I am, Rise free. Ooh, that's a good bet. Yeah, you got yourself a deal. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like, I'm already here? Go ahead, say it. <laughs> I got lucky with the lights. You weren't lucky with the lights, but you were was right. I was wrong. <laughs> I never had the lungs for wind instruments. The fool me was by the way you were unloading on that cell phone. <laughs> well, how many cabbies do you know get you into an argument to save you money? There were two of us. I had to kill the other one. <laughs> Dang, super smooth. But I will be the best at what I do, but that's something else. Hmm. Limo company I'm putting together. Island Limo. Oh. Staff up, get the right client list. How do you like being a lawyer? What are you, psychic? <laughs> Man gets in my cab with a sword, I figure he's a sushi chef. <laughs> so I'm a prosecutor. Oh, big case? Dang, just immediate connection. Yeah, and then maybe she'll want to take his limos. Yeah. Instead of a cab. Be his first client. I like all the shots. Yeah, some cool overhead. So far, a very relaxing movie. Yeah. <laughs> and I know there's no way it's gonna stay that way. You like what you do? Yeah. That was a week, yeah. I'm not prepared enough, don't know what I'm doing, and I've been running some charade all these years. Hey, harsh. It's like imposter syndrome. And then I pull myself together. That's my routine. That sounds exhausting. But she has her routine, and he has his. You need a vacation. <laughs> I go on a vacation all the time. A dozen times a day. And all these out. And I just concentrate on absolutely nothing. Sounds nice. Take oh, it. No, oh no, I couldn't no, no. do that. Take it, take it, and it'll help you, I guarantee you. Aw. Yeah. Oh, maybe a number? In case you ever want to investigate Fortune 500 company or <laughs> argue cab routes. Oh. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. I wonder if he's connected to her case? I feel like that has to be the connection. Whoever they're prosecuting or something. It's like an office though, right? I don't yeah. know where she got dropped off. Oh, oh, right there. Yeah, come on man, I'm sorry. 
I didn't hear you, man. Come on. Man, his life probably would have been way different. He would have just let Tom Cruise walk away. This is so calming. Yeah. Okay, if I time you, knock yourself out. <laughs> free ride? I already offered him my free ride today. <laughs> Tell you the truth, whenever I'm here, I can't wait to leave. You're sprawled out, disconnected. Very big city. I read about this guy who gets on the MTA here, dies. Six hours, he's riding the subway before anybody notices it. Jeez. What a immediate bleak view of LA. What are the things you're putting together? No, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Such a different conversation. Talking about very similar stuff, but the vibe is yeah. so different. Man, you're good. Uh, I got lucky with the lights. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I got five stops to make. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll make it 600. Okay, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, you do. Nah, I don't know, man. Yeah, you do. <laughs> we got a deal. Here's 300 down. What's your name? Max. Dang. I feel like this is so sketchy. It's super sketchy. I feel like he realized how perfect of a driver he was. Yeah. He's using him as like a getaway driver, yeah, I feel like. For the whole night. Work on his business plan while he waits. Yeah, always working. Oh, no island, but her card. He said he needed signatures, but he left his briefcase. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to be ready, though, when he comes back. Max? Yeah, he's got all this stuff out. Yeah. Oh, my God. My man, you all right? No. Uh-oh. He, he fell on the cab. That was him. Good guess. You killed him? <laughs> no, I shot him. Bullets in the fall killed him. <laughs> Put your hands down. Okay. <laughs> trunk. What? Pop the trunk. Can't leave him here, so unless you want him up front with you, but given the hygiene, it's only a dead guy. It's only a dead guy? This is not worth $600. Uh-uh, he's got to pay a little bit more. <laughs> Parked in like the worst spot. <laughs> right? I don't think Vincent was planning for no. the car to be right there. What is he gonna say? I don't know. Hey, why don't you just take the cat? He's like, just take it. You promise not to tell anybody, right? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Nah. Get in the fucking car. <laughs> you can, you can get in the car. You're in on this, man. They need a new windshield. Yeah. Even the little taxi thing's broken, I think. Oh, what? Is it Mark Ruffalo? Yeah. Does not look like him though. <laughs> Man, that mustache really changes his face. And his slick back hair. Ah, uh, so he's right behind them. Oh yeah. Ramon. Ramon's dead. You okay? There'd be no body. Nope, it's in the trunk of a taxi cab. Is he police? Did he have a badge? This is Detective Fanny Narcotics. I wonder if he was a cop. The, a Ramon? Yeah. I don't think so. I think maybe they're like snitches. Uh. And so Vincent's maybe trying to, you know, get rid of all of them. We're sitting here and the light's green. Leave the seats. He is all out of whack. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like LA. <laughs> Focus on the job. Drive. How long do you figure? I don't know, miss. 17 minutes. <laughs> I told you we had other stops to make. <laughs> Said you had to go visit some friends. Uh, somebody's friends. <laughs> it ain't my job. Tonight it is. Are you breathing? Shit. Are you breathing? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Yeah, it's all chaotic now. Darwin, shit happens, I Ching, whatever, man. We gotta roll with it. But what did he do to you? Nothing. Yeah, right? He's for hire. Nothing, I only met him tonight. What, I should only kill people after I get to know them? Tens of thousands killed before sundown. Did you bat an eye, Max? What? I offer one fat Angelino and you throw a hissy fit. Oh, God. Pretty good logic. If you feel any better, he was a criminal. <laughs> oh. Right. oh, man. Already? You're a cabbie. Talk yourself out of a ticket. It's gonna be like, what happened to your windshield? Yeah. And don't let me get cornered. If you don't have the trunk space. Oh. Probably his wife's pregnant. <laughs> what a threat. You don't want these family men to die. Is he gonna need a lawyer? Your windshield smashed. Hey, is this blood up here on your windshield? Say it was a deer. I, I hit a deer. In LA? I was on Slauson. A South Central deer. <laughs> Ran right in front of the car and I couldn't avoid it. <laughs> we gotta do a vehicle inventory before the tow truck gets here. So pop the trunk. Oh no! 
my god. Is that really necessary, officer? I'm just a half a mile from here. Yes, sir. I'm afraid it is. Oh, these two men are dead. Get out the cab. Open the trunk. Come on. Oh, these cops are dead. He can't do it here. He's well, he has no choice. Shots fired at 83rd and Ooh. Oh, they're getting a call though. Hey partner, we gotta roll. Roger. Oh my god, they were saved. That was so close to being terrible. But he can't keep driving like that or he's probably gonna get pulled Pull, over yeah. again. Yeah, and I feel like the time aspect is how long can they, can the cops get to the scene, figure out what's going on and then get to the next kill. So he's gotta like time it out to make sure he's ahead of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of faith that this guy's not just gonna drive away. Yeah. Hands on the wheel, 10 and 2. Oh, okay. There you go. This solves it. Ooh. Better than going in with him, right? Yeah. Mac, you out there, you son of a bitch? It's Lenny, uh, just dispatch. Just cut off the phone with the cops. Ooh. I got crashed into. I didn't. Do I care what, where, or why? You're paying. You tell me to stick this cab up, this fat ass. <laughs> He's not paying you a damn thing. Who the hell is this? Oh, the lawyer. Albert Ricardo, assistant U.S. attorney. Well, let's not, well, let's not get excited. <laughs> now, what are you trying to pull, you sarcastic prick? <laughs> now tell him he's an asshole. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> this yellow cab up his fat ass. <laughs> Don't need to go that far. To stick this yellow cab up, up your fat ass. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Max. He just doesn't want him calling anymore for the rest of the night. Yeah. Ah, shit. He'd probably just lay on the horn somebody would come but i think vincent would be the first one there i mean also we're in la nobody would probably come care. <laughs> yeah kind of like he said someone was dead on the metro for six hours yeah, sure send him up just a random notary and his whole family's there i'm sure like in his file or something it says expecting notary or something oh, oh. I feel like he's just gonna get these guys killed. Hey, yeah, right there. I'm in the cab, man. I'm stuck. Can you give me a fuck one? Oh my god. Look like I'm kidding you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. Is that my briefcase? Yeah, it is. Why? You want it back? Was there four of them? Yeah, I don't know where the other guys went. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> You get his wallet back? <laughs> Max's wallet? Yeah. I don't know. I oh, think so. Yeah. Where's the button? Button? I don't know. Oh, did they just leave that body there? Oh. And you're going to get people killed who didn't need to be. Now I see for the trunk, the right? for the trunk? We're ahead of schedule. Like jazz? Come on, finish up. Buy a drink. They're just going to a bar. <laughs> this is the worst day of Max's life. <laughs> This informant here. What's his name? Ramon? Ramon Ayala. Yeah, informant. an informant. Yeah. Part of a distribution network that hooks up to Felix. Feds are all over him. They don't want us anywhere near it. Catch! Bullets? You can still smell the cordite. Yeah. So you saw a cab parked here earlier tonight. You guys get glasses and coke bottles. <laughs> Thousand taxi cabs in LA County. You got anything else? Except for someone just got pulled over for a broken windshield. Yep. Cabby drove around all night, killed three people, and put the gun to his head. Cabby had no criminal record. No. Oh. I've always thought there was someone else in that cab. Oh, wow. Vincent's done this before with the same strategy. But that's not good for Max. No. He's going to kill him. I'm I mean, I don't know what else would he would have done with him, but... Yeah. I mean, Max already tried to get away, and that's when he got robbed. <laughs> <laughs> this is some psycho behavior. Just killed four people so far. I'm just like... <laughs> some jazz? Improvise. Like tonight. Daniel, baby, he's the owner. I gotta buy him a drink. Miles Davis, the coolest man on the planet. Is this a target? <laughs> They're taking a lot of time. I don't know if this is actually a detour or not. Uh-oh. Cry's not here. Yeah, well, jazz ain't yeah I feel like he's looking around to make sure the place is empty. Yeah. Tell the people in Kulikan and cut the hand of that story. Uh-oh. I just want I thought you were a cool guy. I'm a cool guy. Oh, man. I'll ask a question. You get it right, we roll. I will go so far away to be just like I was dead. <laughs> Where did Miles learn music? Juilliard School of Music. I feel like this is not right. <gasps> oh, my God. I'm dead at Juilliard after listening here. Ooh. Well, the Juilliard part was almost correct. I mean, it was right. He just didn't stay there. <laughs> 
that's right. Max, his mother's driving me crazy. Say his mother? She's in the hospital. Oh. You don't show up, it breaks your team. People start looking for you. I'm not taking you to see my mother. Since when was any of this negotiable? It's a waste of money. Won't mean a thing to her. She carried you in her womb for nine months. <laughs> so a soft spot for his mother. Right. Well, his mother's gonna know something's up. Right? Max never gets me flowers. Hold that elevator, please. Oh, man. I feel like there's gonna be a, a real showdown between these two. Yeah. Man, just in the elevator with the man who's just killing throughout LA. I'm lying here wondering something terrible happened to you. Yeah, something terrible did. What am I gonna do with flowers? <laughs> I'm buy you flowers, Mom. He did. Why you tell me that company? That company. You paid for my flowers. They're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hold a gun to his head, make him do anything. Oh yeah, pretty familiar with that. He's sensitive. I know. <laughs> I know. Limousine uh, companies. Is that right? He drives famous people around. Uh, no, I'm just uh, in town oh. tonight. What are you doing, Max? You want to get him out of that room? Oh, he's fast. <laughs> now he knows where his mom is. Like, yeah. Where's he going? I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're getting tracked down. Oh, damn. Probably a lot of important stuff in that bag. Let's see what else you can do. Two in the sternum, one in the head. Double taps, a couple millimeters apart. Professional. Yeah. Can I use your phone? Yeah. Quite a view. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Sylvester Clark. Oh. So is Ramon still in the trunk? There's something going on. I don't think the feds know about it. That was the, uh, his second target, I guess. So is he still in the trunk? Uh, maybe. Limos, huh? Small talk all of a sudden. Got drunk, beat me up, foster homes. I killed him. I was 12. Wow, that's an early start. <laughs> I'm kidding. Is he? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Max has no reason to be friendly with Vincent at all. This is busy. Give me a wallet. Some people inside and search you. You go in there, say you're me, score the backups. They'll be on flash drive or CD. These guys don't get to meet me. They don't know what I look like. At 1001, I drive to the hospital and execute your mother on my way out of town. Oh. Just take comfort knowing you never had a choice. How long have you been doing this? Private sector, six years. Okay. Private sector? Quit stalling. Get out of the cab. Uh. I mean, this wouldn't have happened if he didn't destroy all the prep, I guess. Yeah, no, none of that matters. This is not okay, all of it. <laughs> I really thought he was just trying to get him away from his mom. For, yeah, it worked. Who is this? I'm, I'm Vincent. Oh man, I hope he can just pull this off yeah, for his sake. I feel like he's gonna need to be a little bit more confident than he is right now. Yeah, he's gotta act like he's a professional assassin. Yeah. So Felix has got to be the bad guy who's killing all the people who are giving up information on him, I assume. Detective Richard Widener, LAPD, major narcotics. Oh, operation. this is not who I thought we were walking in. Why do you want to know about our case? Any unusual activity oh. tonight? What the heck? <laughs> they come and go in cars, pickups, taxis. Taxis, huh? Attorney and his client. Yes, one thing you want Roof, to I'll beat the shit. Found the cab. Yep. Are they going to be able to see Vincent in the back seat? Five queen, four, nine, nine. Six. Oh, man. But what? maybe he'll be inside when they go to the taxi. Max will be inside? Yeah. yeah. When they were talking about Felix and they cut to that guy, I thought that was Felix, but that's, I guess, what, the FBI? Yeah, no, the way that they did that, they made it seem like that's who he was meeting. I thought you'd be taller. Is this Javier Bardem? <laughs> what the? Are you telling me Ramon Ayala and Clark uh, yeah. were murdered tonight, both killed? Witnesses. No, you're here. He's probably going to be pissed. Yeah. I lost my stuff. Mm, a, a very expensive counterintelligence. Yeah. That was an expensive briefcase. And you lost it? Sorry. <laughs> tell me, Vincent. Tell me what you think. You should tell the guy behind me to put that gun down. Yeah. Why I take it and beat his bitch ass to death with it. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Max. What do you think I like coming in here? Shit happens. 
Darwin, I Ching. <laughs> Just saying word for word. Can you finish? When have I not? <laughs> Six years, when have I not? Oh, he does say Vincent. Vincent? That's what I'm hearing. He's getting the backups. And I would like to offer you a discount. <laughs> Very generous. Hell, make it 35. <laughs> Who cares? I don't need this money. <laughs> Daniel said he was sorry. A jazz player? Yeah. So it'll be the next place, I'm assuming? Probably. Just kind of make sure that the job gets done correctly. I mean, Felix seems pretty well connected. I'm surprised he couldn't get these people killed himself. Yeah. He did good. He did good, yeah. He's a natural. <laughs> but now the cops got his license plate. Yep. Look at our witness, Peter Lim. I wonder if they're going to be able to find out that Jamie Foxx is not Vincent. Yeah, I don't know if they saw maybe him grab the flash drive. The guy who walked out of there looks like this guy. Because he picked a cab driver who looks like him. Take his ass down, save our witness. Oh my god, they're gonna kill freaking Max. That's literally their explanation. Oh, I'm sure he just looks identical. There's something else going on. Come on, Ray. I know. They locate Peter Lim yet? They know that it's Peter Lim that they're going for, but I wonder what the next one is. Right. Oh, and I forgot these guys were also. You're right. I feel like this is going to be a big shootout. Because they said if something goes wrong. Kill Vincent. Yeah. You're going to call her? You know, your lady friend, the one who gave you a business card. Ugh. You and I make it out of this alive. You should call her. Wow. Maybe he didn't kill that other taxi driver or something. Or maybe he's just trying to give him hope so that he keeps. True. He's not going to let him know. Hey. Oh. Coyote. That was an interesting moment. Yeah. There he is. Hit it. Ooh. They're yeah. really close. Maybe they'll go to the other guy. And come back. The last person. Oh. Oh, no. They're in there. The table towards the back is where he hangs. Man, security let quite a few people in here with guns. They said in the back, right? Yeah. Did they already take him out? Oh. Oh, there he is. A lot of security. A lot of people watching. Oh my god. That didn't cause more of a scene. <laughs> he just destroyed that man. Where's Max? Oh my. This is one way to get this done. Max is in trouble from the FBI right now. Oh, he sees him. Get your hands in the air, Benji! <gasps> security team oh, this is so chaotic oh they're just shooting into the crowd now uh oh, oh no, no, wait, wait. he just saved him yeah he just saved him for sure got them camp up i know i know oh. oh my god i was like there's no way vincent is caught Get your target. <laughs> Had to reload to keep shooting him. The two in the head. Yeah. There was a lot going on. There was yeah. way too many people in there. Go. Oh my God, Mark Ruffalo did not last long. He's the only person that believed that wasn't, he wasn't Vincent. Yeah. Go try, try. Oh. they need to ditch the cab <laughs> like everybody knows i mean there's only one target left i saved you uh you did and then you didn't <laughs> you want to talk fuck off fuck off <laughs> killing bad people well that's what you said you believe me they're witnesses it was a down payment a lincoln town car that girl you can't even call that girl that was harsh yet kind of motivating right i'm like so unsure of what's going on <laughs> like if somehow max does survive this i feel like he's gonna be way more confident and aggressive in life to go after what he wants and i feel like vincent does like him he saved him slow down oh mm. red light Shouldn't have angered the driver. What does it matter anyway? Go ahead, shoot my ass. Slow the hell down. Go, go, go fuck yourself. 
Oh, crap. There's no way Vincent was buckled in. No. They're both moving. Uh-oh. That was brilliant. You didn't have your seatbelt on? <laughs> Uh-oh. Sirens. They're close. Uh-oh. Is it just going to be him? Yep. Are you OK? Sir, you were involved in an accident. Don't worry about the cab. They'll get you a new one. Oh, this guy's going to die. Yeah. <gasps> the body and the gun. Oh, okay, it is still back there. Put your hands on top of your head. Take me to jail. Yeah. 1L20, I need a back. Oh, no! She's the final person? Oh, and there's the gun. Stop moving! Where did this become a go chase? Somebody's gonna get killed if I don't go right now. Wow, that was a turn. I wonder if he recognized her name on the business card. Oh, um, Vincent. Vincent, yeah. Give me that. <laughs> so keep it. Does he have her card? Hopefully. Come on. Oh, of course. Pick up. Oh no. Pick up. Come on. Come Just gonna watch her get killed from down here or something. Annie. Yes. It's Max. Tell me, Annie. Um. Listen. Kill you. He's coming to kill you. Max, if this is supposed to be. Oh so my gosh. Felix hired him. How do you know about my case? I don't understand what's going on. He's telling you. She's not in her office? Ooh, where is she? To the library or something? Like where they keep all their books or records yeah, or something? Yeah, like the law books, maybe. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, wow, you can see him in the different windows. No, 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 wait. He's in your office. He does not know you're up there. Just stay right there and call 911. You loser. Oh no, you idiot person. <laughs> Not keeping your phone charged. Oh no! Oh God, you're in trouble. Run. And he knows you're up there. I can't hear you, hello? Cell phones. There's no way you can get over there that fast. You don't even have the access to get in the building. <laughs> the last thing that he said to her was, don't move. Don't move, you're safe. Shut off the power? I guess. Surprised he didn't just walk up there and shoot her. Him making it more elaborate is gonna give Max some time to get over there. Where's the security guard? Probably dead. And there is a man in my building and he's... Well, <laughs> well the whole building didn't go out. Oh, Annie, you need to hide. Ooh! <laughs> Damn. Shoot it? Oh, God, come on. Just need to stay put. I feel like running for the exit is not the way to go. No. <laughs> Let her go. Ooh. Oh. Why, what are you gonna do about it? Oh my God. You shoot him in the head? Maybe he grazed him though. Oh. Underground? There were 16 floors up? <laughs> yeah. Let me guess right where they went. I feel like they should have gone out in the street. Yeah, somewhere public. Oh, there's some people. What, were there? Yeah. Not that he cares. <laughs> Not at this point. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. Oh. Which one do you pick? Oh, wow, they got in pretty hidden. Going down or up. Oh, wow, okay. So they went down, he went up. Right? They went down. I'm pretty sure they went down. Okay, so <laughs> all right, we got that wrong. So he's gonna get off. Hopefully they just stay on. Yeah. He's just gonna hop back in. Yeah, he's just gonna wait and then hop back in. Damn. It's the end. Yeah. I do this for a living! <laughs> True. Okay. He got shot a lot, didn't he? 
just fired both into the dark. Hey, Max. The guy gets on the MTA here and LA and dies. Yeah, the beginning story. Full circle. I think anybody will notice. I mean, Max noticed. Jeez. All right. That was collateral. What'd you think? I liked it. Yeah. I definitely could pick up all of the, like, Michael Mann... Type of filming and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like the style, the music, like all the shots. And there's a lot of like close shots and then kind of using like a lot of reflections. Reflections and like the lights. like lights and like the city landscape. Yeah. Even just like driving through heat and stuff. You yeah. get a lot of the city and exactly like you said, the reflection of like the police car and the glass of the skyscrapers. And so it definitely felt like a Michael Mann movie. Yes. It didn't have the level of intensity or action of heat no but i feel like the whole movie was just suspenseful essentially once vincent gets into the cab yeah at that point the music changes like everything switches up and i like how you during the reaction made a comment about the comparison and the conversation between Max and Annie and then Max and Vincent yeah pretty much the same topics same questions were kind of being explored, but just totally different vibe. I mean, obviously he's attracted to and flirting <laughs> with one with one girl, and then it's just a customer for the next. But yeah. still, it was definitely a shift in the tone of the movie. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously we had to know Annie, it was gonna have to come full circle because there was no reason she was just introduced for a love interest that we never even saw happening. Yeah. But very, very interesting, very intricate, especially the scene at the nightclub. Oh yeah. The FBI is obviously watching over the nightclub and we have Ray and he comes in, he's talking to the FBI. They're kind of putting together the pieces of the multiple murders that they found so far. Yeah. Um, it was just all kind of came to a head at that point. Well, I mean, you have more than that too. I mean, you have the Target's own security at yeah. the club. And then you have uh, Felix's own security yeah. there to make sure nothing goes wrong. Yeah. And so you just had so many different forces combining at that club. And it was pure chaos because not only did you have all of these people with different interests, but even down to like the FBI, not even knowing about Vincent, thinking that Max was Vincent. Right. And they were just going to immediately take him down. Ray was the only person that believed him. I was not anticipating Vincent just killing Ray. Right, just walking out and then just bang, bang, bang. Yeah, so that was shocking. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy in that club for sure. I mean, even Vincent going around to the security guards in the club and just beating them down physically. Yeah, some of those fight scenes were Yeah, it wasn't even really brutal. fight scenes. It was more it was just, just like, like Vincent- Beat down. Yeah, <laughs> uh, just to like get them out of the way so that he could get the target. Also, speaking of, we obviously know that Tom Cruise does pretty much all of his own stunts. Yeah. I also just kind of thought of that at the end when he's kind of chasing down Annie and he eats it off that chair. Yeah, he throws the chair and then like tries to step over the chair and, and then the chair falls. goes out. Like obviously I, that was probably not supposed to happen. No, I, I wonder if that really was Tom Cruise. Like I wonder at what point he really started doing everything. I think it was pretty fairly early on. Yeah. So that could have just been him just eating shit on yeah. that chair. And then he just got up and kept going. But I liked it because it was a lot more realistic. Yeah. Um, he was a little thrown off his game at that point. Pretty much from the hospital. I think he was a bit off of his game. He lost his bag. Then he kind of had to improvise that's when he stuck max in to go talk to felix all of that so yeah. he was so put together and kind of like the way that max was when he first got in the cab and he cleaned everything and everything exactly. and you know, max obviously as soon as that body comes and hits his cab like it's all over for him he's got a sandwich everywhere yeah he was very very meticulous and he had his routine and everything exactly like you said once that body hits the roof even his driving is off and yes. he's like, can't really pay attention to the lights and how the camera is moving through the streets is shaky and stuff. So Max was definitely thrown off with that situation. And yeah, the second Max kind of threw that bag into the highway, Vincent really was just kind of improvising, but not probably to the level that he's used to. No, I think that he always had everything perfectly together and that's why he was so good at his job. Yeah. But any little inconvenience now, 
he's like totally off his game. And I think the fact that he was building a strange but friendship with Max, like he did like Max. It was definitely a weird relationship. Um, and it kind of puts you into a situation where it's like, do you like Vincent? Do you not? Yeah, it was weird. I mean, at the end, I will have to say when Max shoots Vincent, I was a little bit sad. When Vincent dies? Yeah, I mean, obviously he's an assassin and he was about to kill Annie. Like, yeah. he's killed like, I don't know how many, a dozen people already at this point. Yeah, no film. worries about killing innocent or unrelated people. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it was just because he did have a little bit of a heart for Max and yeah. that he saved him. He put him in that situation to begin with, but <laughs> he did save him. So it was just like a little bit of a, oh. Like, it, he just, it, now Max is the one that kills you. It wasn't, like, a good or bad feeling. And even, it's not like when Max kills him, it's not like Max, you know, sits down and was like, I got you. Like, he kind of sat down there and just kind of, like, stared at him a little bit, kind of took off his glasses. Yeah. Like, it wasn't this perfect victory of killing some bad guy. No. And it's interesting, too, because you have all of these people who are getting killed because of Felix, but probably everyone other than Annie was at some point working for Felix. And yeah. so it's, it's they, weird. I mean, they were maybe not all great people. Right. They were probably heavily involved with the crime aspect of Felix to begin with. Yeah. And that's why they knew so much to be targets for Felix. Yeah, that's a good point. So the only real probably innocent person that we see die or almost die would be Annie. Well, besides the cops, we had like Ray. Right, and that's what I'm saying. Club. Like, like Vincent had no problem killing innocent people. Yeah. And he, you know, was kind of like a sociopath, not even really having feelings about it or anything. Yeah, I mean, he's been doing it for six years. In the private sector. <laughs> private sector. <laughs> but yeah, it still was a weird feeling to have him kind of get shot and die. And then it's sad too, in terms of just him being this dead body on the Metro and going back immediately to the beginning of the story, pretty much the second the metros came into play, I was like, okay, one, someone is dying and getting left here. Yeah, and I feel like maybe I was kind of sad because Max has now like killed somebody. Yeah. Like all of this going through, like Max is panicking and yeah, he's slowly kind of starting to gain a little bit of confidence. Obviously he had to be confident when he talked to Felix or they would have just killed gotten him. rid of him. But it was just kind of like, he was such a good guy going through all of this. And yeah, he was saving Annie and doing so, but he also now has taken someone's life. Yeah, and I think the interesting thing too for the bond between them is somehow this experience I feel like is going to benefit Max's confidence or yeah. his plan for the future, talking back to his boss in a normal situation probably would have just taken that and paid for it. Yeah. Or the whole conversation about you were never going to do this limousine thing. Like it doesn't take you 12 years to kind of build up the funds to just start. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just start it. Yeah. And even down to like the phone call, like, are you even going to call her? Are you actually even going to take this initiative to give her a call? Yeah. And now we leave with Max. Yeah, he did kill someone, but you can envision the future of maybe he's clearly going to have some brownie points with Annie <laughs> for saving her life. So I'm sure he's going to be able to get a date that way. Yeah. And yeah, maybe he will actually take whatever he has and start his company or something. Yeah. So interesting, interesting dynamic between them. Obviously, Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx are great actors to begin with. So oh, yeah. This was really cool to see them together. I really liked it. It was a decently fast paced movie. Like I said, pretty much right when Vincent gets into the car and starts killing people. I mean, it's not that long before body literally falls onto the car. Yeah, and the music changes, like everything. Because you said, I think, in the beginning that it was very relaxing. Yeah, just kind of going the through music, the town and stuff. Yeah. And the movie did a good job not really confusing anything. It didn't take this grand amount of time to explain any of these, like, targets or anything it was just kind of okay here's the next person that's gonna get killed yeah and you're just on to the next one and it did a little bit of like crafty work i feel like the whole felix reveal where i thought that was felix but it was the fbi and you yeah you think you're following max into the into the place or something but it's actually ray so the movie itself kind of tricked you out of you even with the subway scene i still i'm gonna have to look in the edit i swear they went downstairs 
and got that subway. I thought so too. Or, I don't know. I mean, it could have just been angles and you know how they went yeah, about or it. Or maybe they ran back up and got into that one from the other were, side. Yeah, they went down and then they were kind of deciding down there too. They were like looking, they were right by the up escalator. So maybe they did come back up. Yeah. So who knows? But I feel like the movie kept you engaged with kind of the suspense of the kills and you know you're going through all of these kills you know the police are kind of on the chase as well they're just right behind yeah so it was it was definitely a suspenseful movie and I, I feel like the highlights for me were definitely the bond and the dynamic between Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx yeah absolutely but I think overall another solid film by Michael Mann yes yeah I definitely want to explore more Michael Mann directed films. Yeah, I think this is our third one on the channel. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure what else would be like one of his other major movies, but I'm definitely interested in seeing more. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links will be in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.